What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at it again with another Copart walk around here at 2829 Southeast 15th Street here in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. We're going to start this one off with a pickup truck. I know you guys like pickup trucks and I know you guys like Toyotas. So let's start off with the 2014 Toyota Tacoma. <laughs> I know you guys are thinking right now, you're looking at this going, really, man? Really? Well, hey. I, I, sorry, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to be mean, but I got a lot of people saying, why don't you show more Toyotas, Randy? You want to see more trucks? All right, well, um, I figured I would show you guys a Toyota truck. This way, everybody is happy, right? I don't want to exclude anybody. Here you go. <laughs> I, I probably could have found something a little bit better than this one. This is in some pretty bad shape. Um, hey, Forgive me. I'm just trying to make sure everybody gets what they want, man. The reason why I don't show so many trucks or show, or show t so many Toyotas is uh, I just, I personally am not all that interested in them. I, I'm really not. Trucks sell too dang high. I'll tell you what, the inside was very clean though. Look at this. Trucks out here sell too high. This is truck country, man. Uh, even something like this, it's going to sell way too high. The fact that it's a truck and Toyota, Man, it's, it's gonna be insane. So I tend to not look at too many things that I wouldn't be interested in purchasing myself. Now, does that mean that, uh, you know, what I'm interested in is what you're interested in? Absolutely not. So here's what I need you guys to do. If you want to see more trucks, or you want to see more Toyotas, or, or Lexus, which is a Toyota, or more Nissans, Infinities, whatever, Hondas, whatever the case may be, do me a favor, guys, comment down below and tell me what kind of cars you're interested in seeing on the channel. Now remember, remember this is Oklahoma, okay? So if you come back with Lamborghinis and Ferraris, uh, Teslas, we may get a few Teslas, but come on guys, be real here. Be real, this is Oklahoma. We don't, we don't get cool cars like that in Oklahoma. So just keep it realistic and I will do my best to try to find some of those cars to look at for you guys. Now let's let's skip this one. Let's move on to the next one. Next on my list, a 2010 F-150 Platinum. And boy, she lifted. This truck sits nice and high. I can see it's got fold out running boards. Looks like it took a little bit of front end damage there. Those wheels, what's going on here? Looks like, she, <laughs> looks like somebody just said to hell with it, man, right? <laughs> okay, okay, someone just, threw a couple lugs on there and said they were finished. Oh man, rough country. All right, so I was told, I don't know for sure, but I was told that rough country is like pavement princess status. Uh, I didn't know that before I got my Jeep lifted. And uh, of course, all rough country components, I was like, yeah, yeah, rough country. It sounds mean, sounds rugged, sounds tough. And then, uh, <laughs> and then another four-wheel drive place that I went to was like, yeah, you know, rough country is good for a pavement princess, but it's not actually really good for doing anything. <laughs> I was, I was like, what? <laughs> hey, nobody told me, nobody asked me. They just, <laughs> they just kind of did it. Ooh, what are you, was this a theft? I'll bet this was a theft. Busted out back window and then wrecked. Hmm, broken glass everywhere. Yeah, I'm thinking this was a theft. Yeah, comment below, guys, because, you know, all I know is what the four-wheel drive place told me, and they said that Rough Country was, like, it was really no good. They said for pavement... What the hell? They said it was just pavement princess status. And I was like, that's kind of mean to say, you know? What... What is, uh... This is the first time I've ever run into this. Um, I can't get in. Like, the, the door panel is stuck are you kidding me there there we go i mean it doesn't help that i'm doing all of this one-handed anyway but yeah i'm thinking oh shoot <laughs> hold on guys we're going for a ride that door panel's heavy yeah that door panel is real heavy we got that stuck right there the trim is off somebody unplugged every does this even run why am I looking at this? Yeah, the interior is pretty much taken apart, but it looks like there's a lot of the pieces sitting over there for it. This is very bizarre. 
obviously got a dead battery or something. Somebody's cut the wires for all kinds. This is just, this is ridiculous. I, where, there's no key? Where'd the key go? There it is. Somebody wrapped the, somebody wrapped the key around it. Okay. Oh, the key seems broken. No? Dead. Hood's open, yeah. Horn. That's a old school way of doing it. Okay, well, let's take a look under the hood. The more I look at this truck, the more I'm like, man, somebody just ripped this up, man. It must have had light bars and stuff. You got wires hanging everywhere. There's a there's a wire just sitting down in there, not even doing nothing, man. So I'm guessing this wasn't wrecked. I thought maybe it took a light crunch in the front end or something, but obviously with this, uh, that's that's not even real. This is hollow. Listen. That's that's a hollow crash bar. That ain't gonna do nothing. It's <laughs> okay. All right. So, yeah, the truck looks pretty mean, but I think in reality, maybe it's not so much. Where is? There we go. Let's see if we can open this hood. Oh my goodness! Wow. Look at all the wires that are just... I don't think this is going to start, guys. There's no way this will start. There's there's no way, not without me having to wire stuff up, and I ain't fixed to do that, especially with all these all these wires just hanging here. I'm not, I'm not touching it, man. Let me see if I can move these so they don't... I don't want them to touch the battery at all, even though the battery's probably dead. Okay, yeah, I was going to go ahead and start this one with all these wires hanging out everywhere. I don't think it's a good idea to uh, plug up the battery and try to start it. All it takes, guys, one of these wires to hit a ground and poof. Dang thing could go up in flames if it's not fused properly, so. That sucks. I really wanted to see this one, man. Uh, I guess I just didn't look at the pictures all that well. I didn't realize it was in this bad of shape. You think this door will close? Please close. Yes. And now it's somebody else's problem. 163,000 miles on the clock. Uh, this poor thing just looks, it looks rough. Rough country. Rough. Moving on. Next, we have a 2003 Ford Mustang GT. That This one confused me, guys. Because I looked at it in the pictures and it looks very clean. Uh, we're not to the confusing part yet. Hold on. Wait for it. Booyah. Blown bags. Both of them. Two blown bags and no damage that I can see. So I'm guessing... Ooh, the hood doesn't want to pop. That's... Ugh. Oh my goodness. Okay, well the hood must already be popped in. It just doesn't look like it. Um, I do like these wheels though. I really like those wheels. Okay, it is. <laughs> I'm sitting there trying to pop a hood that's already popped. It looked closed. In all fairness, could have fooled anybody. I like the the big fake hood scoop there. That's. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's look under the hood and see if we can see anything here that could be problematic. Uh, why is the airbags blown? That's what I want to know. Okay. Everything under here looks really nice. This looks really good. Of course, these things are notorious for the intakes cracking. I was never aware of that before, but uh, this has got the aluminum piece up front. And you also need to look down in that valley for leaks and I don't see any down there it's always good to check the coolant level and she is full of coolant so far so good I still don't see why the uh, airbag is blown the oil is very clean it's a nice golden color the only real downside to this car that I've been able to find so far is that it's an automatic. Uh, these are just so much more fun 
as a manual transmission car. So, I figured when I saw the blown bags that it must have had lower end damage down here, that something down here must have triggered the airbags. I'm just not seeing it. Could it have been that they hit something with the wheel? Maybe they curbed it or something. So we're going to take a look at the wheel. Notice that it's facing out this way. We're also going to notice how bad those tires are. They're cracked uh, pretty good. They need to be replaced. But we'll notice that the wheels turned out this way. I don't see any damage to the outside of the wheel or to the tire. But it's certain. Oh, oh, it was this side. It was this side. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Right here. Look at that. Now, it didn't damage the wheel, but obviously something under here has been uh, something suspension related. And look at those tires. I'll tell you what I think. I think that somebody had these tires and wheels off of the car. And uh, when they had the accent, they put these back on. They had different wheels. No way somebody was driving. I mean, I guess it's possible, but does it look like somebody was driving with these wheels to you? Look how bad those are, man. Really? No, I don't think so. So... Obviously, something has happened to the suspension, and I can't believe it blew the bags. <laughs> I can't believe it triggered the airbags over, uh, over what looks like hitting a curb. Let's see if this wheel took any damage. <clears throat> um, there is some damage right here, but it's hard to say. I don't see any damage to the tire itself, though. You know, that may have been there from something in the past. It's a good color. It's a convertible. Airbags are cheap, man. You can get those next to nothing. These are old school airbags, easy to replace. So all you got to do is kind of get under here and let's see if we can take a peek underneath this car. Because I'm interested in this one. Oh boy, look at that. Look at that wheel. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I see what they hit. Well, I don't see what they hit, but I see where they hit. Take a look at this, guys. Do you see that folded up metal right there? Uh, and, yeah, right there. All of that. The bolt for the rack and pinion. Yeah, that's the, uh, that's like the subframe. They call it a K-member on these. I don't know. Yeah, that's definitely, uh, I can guarantee you that has caused an issue. Let's see if we can go over to the other side, take a quick look at what's going on under here. Boy, yeah, that really, that threw the alignment way out of whack, didn't it? Let's see if we can get you guys under here real quick. Well, now I understand whatever they hit, they hit that hard to fold up that metal like that, man. That's a that's thick metal, guys. Yeah. She is damaged. I don't see anything under here. It looks too bad, though. Now, you know how I tell you guys to come out here and check these cars out for yourself. Well, this is why. This is exactly why. Um, <laughs> if you didn't come out here and really look this car over, you might think... Yeah, you don't know. Maybe it was just a defect in the airbags, right? That never happens. Like, that almost never happens. Uh, if you didn't come out here and take a look at this car for yourself and climb underneath it, you may have bought this thinking you're good to go, you know? Not the case. This car, this car needs help. Well, it's supposed to run. Said it ran. Uh oh. Huh. Okay. Well, it doesn't run. Now, there is, I believe, down there a switch that can trip, or sometimes it's down here. No, it's not down here. Uh, for the fuel, could be this little button right here too. Hell, I don't know. It's got some kind of it's got some kind of alarm on it or something.
All right, well, I'll tell you what, I ain't got time to sit here and play with it. Uh, as I said, I was interested in it. Now that I've seen the, uh, the undercarriage, uh, not so much, not so much. And the fact that it doesn't run when I come out here and try to start it up, you know, again, just uh, this is one of those cars screaming, stay away. Next, this looked a lot better in pictures. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. There's a reason I'm looking at this Sentra. This is an SER. I believe this is a 2006, or maybe not. Yeah, it says it doesn't run. This should run. Okay, anyway, this is a, I'm assuming, some kind of storm damage. It was listed as damage to the roof. As you can see, the back window is gone. You can also see there was an impact point right here. That, to me, is not that bad. You could still get glass in there. So I, I was like, okay, I'll take a look at it. It is an SER. You don't see these so much anymore. Ooh. Okay, mmm, yeah. And that right there, that, and that. Yeah, that just kills it. That just kills it, man. <sighs> well, I mean, the door is replaceable, but this pillar right here, the C pillar is just totally damaged. The rear quarter is damaged. Uh, you might be able to fix that and replace the door and you'd be good to go, but then you got roof damage. It's got hail dings all over it, which is something I didn't see in the pictures. Lots of dings here. You got damage to the A pillar. You got damage to the fender. There's pretty deep gouges in the hood as well. It needs a windshield. So at this point, like the, the door's gone into the fender here. It's just one of those things where when you come out here and you really look at it, pictures are only going to show you so much detail, guys. Like you just you got to come out here and you got to look at this stuff for yourself and make an informed decision. What is going on there, man? How? Come on. Stay in there. Hopefully that thing don't fall out and hit me. That looks like it might hurt. I mean, I'll put the key in it. We'll see what it does. It, it, as far as I'm concerned, this is good for parts. And that's it. Someone took the... They took their shift knob off of it. <laughs> they were like, you're not getting my shift knob, man. Let's take a peek under the hood. See what she's looking like under there. Yeah, I think this may have been one of them cars you just kind of rode hard and put away wet, you know what I mean? Oh, not bad. It looks pretty clean under here. Somebody's been into the engine. I don't even know what the miles are on this. I think I missed the miles, but somebody's been into the chiming chain. You can see it's got uh, silicon all over here. So somebody's been into the motor for something. I don't see why it would. This this should run, guys. It's listed as an on-runner. I'll bet this runs. Let's put a jump on it. I just want to hear it. All right. Let's see if she does anything. Oh, I don't even see any power in here. She ain't going to do nothing. Uh-uh. Ooh. Wow. That's, that's kind of crazy, isn't it? Like, why wouldn't it... Uh, could be a bad ground. You could move your ground. Uh, move your ground over here. No. Nothing. Well, it's not the booster pack. That I can promise you. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to turn the booster pack off. We're going to try this another way. All right. There's a lot of corrosion on that battery terminal. So you can always come over to the alternator. And you can always jump it from this post on the alternator right here. All right, you just gotta find you a good ground, which conveniently is on the alternator as well. Just snap it right to this bracket right here. Snap it to the positive over there. And uh, see if she does anything. Now, if it doesn't come to life here, then it ain't going to. But there could be a lot of corrosion on that battery terminal. That would be my guess. No, nothing. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got lights. We got lights. I think. Or maybe that's just the sun reflecting through the light. No, there we go. There we go. Yeah. I told you she ran. She runs.
like I've said it before guys turn this off and remove this from the engine bay here get it out of the way so we don't have any uh, any problems yeah I've said this before man you just got to come out here and you got to check this stuff out for yourself look Copart goes through, I don't know how many cars they're going through now, man. They're super busy here, but they'll put a jump pack on the battery. And if it starts, it's a runner. If it doesn't, it's dead and they move on. They got they go through like 600 plus cars a week in the sale in Oklahoma City. So if they put a jump on it, it doesn't run, they're not going to sit here and try to figure out what's wrong and what they need to do. It's, these cars are all moved on down the line, man. So it does pay to come out here. And look, all you had to do was jump it from right here. There you go. You can see there's a lot of corrosion on the positive and the negative terminal. Jeez. You clean those terminals and you clean the uh, the connectors and everything, this thing will probably fire right back up on its own. Yeah. I mean, I still don't think the car is worth much. I mean, it's, it's, just, it's just too banged up, man, for me. And the mileage is... Uh, a hundred and ninety thousand miles so she's got some miles on her air conditioning came on yeah i heard the ac kick in and it's cold okay that's kind of crazy Two hundred thousand miles man she's got cold air she runs pretty well i'll turn that air off let's see how the clutch is the clutch is uh you can hear some chatter when I push the clutch in, it goes away. Can you hear that? Right now it's quiet. That's ch that's some chattering going on in the clutch. That That's not good. Yeah, she pulls though. She pulls. Okay. Yeah, there's some noise going on in there. Important window works, yes. Next important window. Yeah, sure does. Okay. Hey. I'll tell you what this car would be great for, honestly. It's a good beater. It's a real good beater. I mean, these cars are a lot of fun. Uh, you could still get a back glass in here. I guarantee you, you could get a, a back glass in this car. And, uh, you know, yeah, she's banged up. This is one I, I wouldn't bother fixing this. You know, if you just need something to get you around, something that's kind of sporty and fun, it's still got good looks, you know, you obviously fix the mirror, it's busted. You know, go go to the salvage yard, grab you one off any center, it'll fit this. Put another antenna on it, because this one's all bent up. And you got you a car with, uh, you know, decent tires, like some Brembo brakes. That's gotta be a cover, man. No way. No way. <laughs> what? Why would something this small have big old Brembo brakes? That's not a cover. That feels like a real caliper. Are you serious right now? This car don't need Brembo brakes. Get out of here, man. <laughs> but whatever. Hey, it's still a, a decent looking car. Get you a windshield. Get you a rear glass. That's going to cost some money. You're probably looking at a... 150 for the front window, probably 200 for the back window. So 350 for the windows, but it's got decent tires. It probably runs and drives just fine. Just drive it till the wheels fall off, you know? That's what I would do, honestly. You probably get this car for nothing since it's listed as a non-runner. You really could probably get this for nothing. What do you think? You think it'll fire up or is it dead? Well, she came back to life, so the battery's got some juice to her, guys. Make sure it's in gear before we leave here. Yeah. All right. I'll keep my eyes on this one, you know. I, I, I have absolutely no use for it, but yeah, it may, it may be worth something. We'll see. We'll see. Moving on. Well, we meet again. 2017 Tesla Model X. If I remember right, this is the one that was sitting at my Copart walk around blowing its horn at me 24-7. Every time I started recording, it would start beeping its horn oh you're dead well you weren't he must have finally blew the horn enough till the battery went out oh that sucks that sucks i wanted to show 
this was the one I was going to, this was like, this was the highlight of this video right here. What's this one? And it's dead. Never fails, man. Never fails. Uh, hey, this is a good one too. It's a, it's a 100D. I love the wheels. This thing is beautiful. Ah, uh, I still got a thing for Teslas, man. I do. Yeah, I don't remember how I got this to shut up. I think I just went and opened the door and closed it, and it was fine after that. <sighs> this thing took a nasty hit, though, didn't it? I guess I can't get you inside. That really sucks. <laughs> I was all excited about actually taking a look at this. So it looks like this has got a self-driving capability. Yeah, it definitely has self-driving capabilities. I can't believe that it's just it just stuck. I another thing is these windshields, man. These windshields are ridiculous. Like from the very top all the way down is a windshield. It's it's absolutely crazy. Or no, I remember why this thing kept going off. It was the hood. The hood was open and it kept setting off the alarm. And as soon as I closed the hood, it shut up and I was able to get through that walk around video. Looks like it's got 38,000 miles. I just had to try it one more time, man. Is it gonna let us in? It's not gonna let us in. That is super disappointing because this is the thumbnail. Like this is why people are gonna click on the video. And uh, I'm just gonna have to leave y'all hanging or just remove it from the list. I'm not removing it from the list. I need views, man. Click on these videos, hit that thumbs up button. <laughs> I guess that's it. Short, sweet, simple, to the point, guys. That's it. We're going to get out of here. I truly do appreciate all of you watching this Copart walk around. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, you can hit that thumbs up button. I would truly appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on the latest videos I'm going to have coming out. Lots of things going on. Other than Copart, we got cars that are in paint, coming out of paint. Lots of stuff going. We got an auction coming up tomorrow. Uh, the car that I intend on winning, which anytime I say that, I never get it. But I think you guys are, I think you're really going to like it. It's actually something, something kind of special. And it's something that you just, well, you don't see it. You don't see it. And it's not the car so much that you don't see. It's what's under the hood of the car that you're not going to expect. If, well, stay tuned. Stay tuned. It'll be in the next, the next video of a Copart walk around. Whether I win it or not, it's going to be in the next video. Definitely. Listen, guys, don't miss the next Copart walk around. It'll be in the thumbnail. It's gonna look like just another, you know, cool, but regular car. But trust me, you're gonna wanna see that video. All right, guys, follow me on Instagram and Facebook, Auto Auction Rebuilds. And until next time, stay safe out there, buddy. I will catch you all very soon in the next one.